This is Eat, Sleep, Invest, the marketing podcast for real estate investors to get more deals. If you've ever seen anybody that goes on a hardcore cut some mouth diet diet and they look kind of like sickly, right. you're saying this is different because you're putting muscle on and replacing the fat versus just stripping your whole body. Right, right. You're changing composition. So I have some props here. Your favorite, Brian. This is my favorite. <laughs> this is an example of what a pound of fat looks like. This is an example of what a pound of muscle looks like. Now, I know this is through the internet, but these two weigh the exact same, but they're very different in size. This is much more compact, and this is kind of like bubbling out all over the place. <laughs> you know, this is smooth, compact. This is bigger and bubbling over. Now, how this works in our body is we have our bones or our skeleton first, then we have a layer of muscle cells, then a layer of fat cells, then the skin. So when someone just go, cuts calories and maybe starts you know, some exercise and they want to lose weight for the scale, what happens is if they're not focusing on body composition, meaning working on the muscle at the same time, they can catabolize this. They can actually lose their muscle while they're losing fat. And the end result is just not very attractive. Again, they look great in clothes, but not so great in a bathing suit. And um, when we work on both of these together, gaining muscle the right way, losing body fat the right way, um, you end up with a beautiful transformed physique. And, you know, you see these body transformations all over social media. Um, I even get um, accused of photoshopping. Now, you know my technical skills are pretty bad. I wouldn't know how to photoshop one of those if, if you paid me. Um, these transformations are miraculous, but they're very doable. You just need to have the right tools and the right instruction uh, for your specific body. In other words, your height, your weight, your body fat percentage, um, you know, it's all very specific to the individual. You, can't, you just can't give out a cookie cutter plan to everybody. Right. Now, let's talk about that a little bit. So we're talking about changing composition. So how do you do that? Like, I know, I know how you did it with me. So explain to everybody how that works with the diet, exercise, like what's involved. Okay. So... To truly make a transformation the ultimate way, like if you want to go all in and really do it right, it's exactly what I did with you. It takes three things. It takes weight training to strengthen, tone, firm the muscle. Um, weight training is the only thing that is going to change the shape of your body. It's the only thing. Okay, so you need to get the weight training in place. Um, that's underneath the fat. Then you need to get cardiovascular exercise, uh, which now focuses more on burning the body fat, which is on top of the muscle. Then you need the third thing, which is a diet focused on both muscle and fat. In other words, not just a diet where you cut calories and you don't worry about what you're eating, you know. Um, so a body composition diet focuses on a little bit more higher protein because uh, muscle is made of protein and water. So you need to increase your lean protein to help strengthen, build, uh, make the hard body, right? Make the muscle. And then you need to bring down your carbohydrates and your fats to burn this off. So that basically what I tell people is it's really simple. When someone signs up with me and they want to transform their body, all I'm really doing is putting them to bed in a deficit over the next, let's say, six months. You know, we'll start with six months. I want to set a person up so that they're going to burn more through their cardio than they put in their mouth in calories so that when they go to bed, they their body's turning on stored fat for fuel, basically. Now, while we're doing that, I have to make sure they have enough protein so that their body doesn't turn on its hard-earned muscle for fuel. So you provide enough protein 
so that you don't catabolize. Your body doesn't eat its own muscle to get what it needs because we want to gain this, right? Right. So really, it takes those three things. And, um, you know, I've just been doing this for so long. I know I do a fitness evaluation on everybody, as you know, so that I know their height, their weight, their body fat percentage, their how much muscle and fat they have. Um, talk at length with them about their past so I get to know their genetics, and then I prescribe from there.